What up, everybody? It is Rhino. Welcome back, MLB 13. The show, Boomer Durango. And I hit the wrong button there, but if we look over here, I have taken the lead in the MVP voting. We have about a month left. Yeah, a little over a month. Bunch more games, though. Bunch of Chicago. Bunch of Chicago. Bunch of Cleveland. I mean, Chicago should be easy because they're 21 games back. Unless we, like, collapse, we should win the division. And unless I collapse, I should win MVP. Grant, I've been on fire recently, so that helps. Let's see what we got to do. Durability and reaction time. Reaction time to what? 64? Oh, bloody hell. Ah! Alright, and then durability. So I think it's at 65, which is pretty much awesome. There we go. Yeah, I don't see myself getting 75 total bases. That's a friggin' lot. Okay. Let's get some more power against the lefties. Cause why not? I, I feel bad for it not being at 80. Oh, we're going against David Price? Are you kidding? Ah, this is not what I need in my life. Hey, welcome to your recording episode. Now you are playing against one of the best pitchers in the league. Very depressing. Friday night baseball under the dome at Tropicana Field. Tonight, the opener of the three-game series. Between the Detroit Tigers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in St. Pete, baby. Not swinging at your crap, man. Alrighty. Bring it on, David Press. Alright, it's 724. Let's see what time it is later. Bam! I'm talking about. That's why you increase the power against the lefties. Baboomski. Slap hands? Slap hands! Hey, calls Quentin. You about to like charge me and break my shoulder? Uh, you know, normally you hope right to down get the freaking middle. When you throw that two seam fastball, but you can see there, this pitch winds up straight as a string. He yep, and right down the middle. Well, right, let's see what time it is now. 758. All right. So they are they are smart enough to change the time. I like it. Nope, oh, 759. Holy crap, I just saw the clock change right in front of my eyes. That's an out probably. Yep. It didn't didn't sound like I got enough of it. I've been to this stadium before. It wasn't bad. You spend like 20 bucks for a crappy ticket and then you just move down because there's no one there. Like I was right in that region. Like right under the scoreboard there is basically where I was sitting. And then we moved down uh, basically by Tampa's bullpen, which is on in the field over on the first base side. Over there. There's the bullpen. We were basically like five rows behind it because we just moved. We're like, screw this. Let's go closer. I probably mentioned that before, but oh well. 
I might have like half of you being a new audience. So I gotta, you know, I gotta let you guys know. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get them? Oh, you jerk. Go back to Vanderbilt. All right, that's where he's from, man. Right? So nothing happening right. this time around. Let's Google it. Pretty sure it's Vanderbilt. Up. Detroit is out in front, three to nothing. Vanderbilt. See, I was right. I know what I'm talking about. There's the bullpen. We were in one of those little sections. I know it's my ball. It's on the best ever. There you go. Man, how crazy would it be if I actually win the MVP? Not, not in the fact that I won the MVP. I mean, that's not that crazy. But that would mean a Tiger has won it four years in a row. Different, all different. It would be Verlander Cabrera. Then the first season of this, it was uh, Prince. And that would be me. That would be freaking ridiculous. I wonder if that's ever happened. Four MVPs from the same team four years in a row. But four different players. No repeats. No, like, first year won it and then win it the third year. None of that crap. All different. Oh, boy. Okay, thank you for a bad throw. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. There's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club. Yeah, man. I've been on fire recently. Oh! They're walking him. Who's on deck that they want to walk him? Oh, it's because there's only one out. Alright, they want the force anywhere. Because that's V-Mart. That looked a little low, man. Look a little up. I'm talking to you, man. Hey, man, you gotta control your buddy. All right, that one, that one was good. Oh, he dropped it. Are you kidding? I'm going to be out at third. No, I'm not going to be out at third. I made it. Because they got the force at home. If the catcher didn't go for the ball, like if the pitcher just dropped it and then the pitcher just picked it up, they could have a double play going home in the third. Easily. You know, for some strange reason, the catcher was like, Oh man, I'm going to go for that ball. It wasn't, wasn't a smart idea for him. Damn! Oh man, that means I have to start start the wheel. The wheels are turning. Yeah, baby. Can I speed up here? There we go. Why was I like half assing that? I was gonna question if I was hurt or not, but apparently not because I'm still in it. What the hell is this?
Who are you? Cesar Ramos. 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 I don't know how you pronounce that. There's like 18 different pronunciations for it. Like how there's 18 different spellings for the name Megan. I don't know how that happens. Sometimes there's an H. Sometimes there's an A. Sometimes there's an A and an H. Before the G is where I'm saying the A is. Obviously the A after the G is fairly common. But I'm going to say that guy's name is Ramos. Or is it Ramos? Because, I mean, there's Lisa Ramos, and she's hot. So I'm going to go with that, because I love Lisa Ramos. And Melanie Iglesias and Lisa Ramos. See, I don't know about you guys. And if you guys watch Guy Code, then you definitely know who those two are. They're the two that are always, you know, together. I think Lisa Ramos is the better looking one. That's just me, though. Let me know what you guys think. I'm bag, going. Bag, right yeah, okay, okay. I'll change my mind. All right, coach. You say so. Number 29. That's a random number for a... Uh, their base coach to have. Normally they're like they're up there in like the fifties. So that's the battle. That is to happen in the comments. Lisa Ramos or Melanie Iglesias. If you don't know who they are, Google them. And then find out. And then choose. This has just been straight up domination this game, huh? Hooray! Is the game over? Nope. We got one more, two more, twelve more. Now it's over! Very good performance offensively for this one. For me, man, because I'm the best. I think we should single out this fellow right here as our top player of the game. Damn right. Boom! He's a tough out up there. You see the three hits, including a home run. Without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a... Three for five with three runs. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. I still haven't gotten a cycle in my career. There is out number two. Now that is Tory Hunter, circa 2002 against Barry Bonds in the All Star game. That was an unbelievable play. 500. You only get 20 points for 500 of pass on a year. I wonder how many you get for 200 hits. Because I'm approaching that. Which he has done. This made it tough on left handers. I need 23 more. I'll be able to get that. Matt Moore! Oh, pinch hitting. All right, pinch hitting. This is a, a big at bat, so that's why we're doing it. And we're going to have a pinch hitter to start things out here in the top Damn right. of the inning. Jose Lobaton is into the ball game here. All right, new catcher too. All right, crazy. Crazy stuff. The way I've been batting, why would you take me out of the game? I mean, why would you not have me start or play? So I understand giving me an off day, but come on, man. It's not like I'm a lefty going against Matt Moore. I'm freaking Boomer Durango here. I'm kind of good. Kind of good. Except when I do that. Oh, I'm in the field. All right. I'm playing shortstop. Okay, then.
This is this is new. I'm there. I'm there. I'm turning the double play. Yeah, baby. I was about to say, was he safe at second? Like bull crap. Yeah, shortstop Boomer Durango. Never thought I would say that. So let's try and end this freaking game. Get the single. Hopefully there's no out so I can steal second. And then have a chance of scoring. Sweet. Bye. All right, in scoring position. Now all we need is a bunt over and a sack fly. We're in the lead. Come on, Austin Jackson, bump me over. Hit me over. Do something. Like a grounder over in that region's fine, too. Screw it, I'm going. Stay away from me! That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping he would be too far away to reach me. And it worked. And you take that, Schlongoria. All right. Sack fly me, Blazer. Come on, Adrian Sanchez. What the hell? I didn't press that. What the hell's going on? Oh, they're doing a squeeze play. I think. I'm not pressing anything. Okay, there it worked. Like, what the hell? Most confusing thing ever. You can do the squeeze play now if you want. I think I finally caught on. Okay, that works too. Hit me, hit me, hit me. And you wanted to do a stupid freaking squeeze play, coach. You had no faith in Adrian, whatever his name was. Sanchez. Oh, shortstop. Gotta get my shortstop on. I've never done this before. This is gonna suck. Oh, I got it. Oh, no! See, that's why I'm a freaking outfielder. I'm an outfielder, coach. What do you want from me? Oh, boy. Double play depth. Yep! That would be the cutoff, man. I got it. This isn't good. Flies out. Oh, man, the game is tied. And they won it. That's what happens when you play me at shortstop. Bad things. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most... Why would you put me at shortstop? It's a terrible idea. I'm a friggin' outfielder. My secondary position is outfield. Can he make it nine? Why not? One trip through the order. The windup. The one two. Strike three. So depressing. Oh, so friggin' depressing. Nine consecutive strikeouts by Doug Fister. Day baseball coming your way here on a Sunday afternoon from Tropicana Field. On a Sunday Today, afternoon. This three game weekend series. And let's also get a look at our two starters in this one. As you yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. That's all I'm hearing. I'm batting clean up. 
That's all we care about. Hopefully I'm not playing shortstop. Because I'll give you a hint, coach. It's a bad idea. That's a run. That's all I need. Give me them RBIs. He better be running. He damn right he's running. And he is out now! Damn it, man! Didn't even hear the ball hit the bat. The fans are quiet here in the trap. Hey, we have three runs. I have no idea how, but we have them. He caught it. And next guy going right to me. Maybe. Might go to the shortstop or second baseman the way or the right or left fielder, the way these things go. Nope, that's to me. Alright. Alright, there you go. Solid defense out of me. Why are you booing me, guys? Stop being mean. Crushed it. I want to hit that hat. I want to be that friggin' powerful. Someone get me steroids. And lots of them. Because I'm going to need a lot in order to hit that friggin' thing. No. Ugh. My goodness. Two and two. Three and two. And not one pitch has been in the zone yet. And yet, I have two strikes. That's in the zone. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Roberto. You got it. I was very nonchalant about that. I like how we, they stick the glove out in order to catch it, like, 20 seconds before the ball gets there. It was like, eh, I'm just going to run 10, 10 more feet. Don't mind me. Oh, got it now. It's because I had my glove there the entire time. I was there to I was there for backup. Just in case. So no runs. No. Again with the booze? I'm 0 for 2. Poor K. That was friggin' right down the middle. And I was late. Throw that again, please. Same spot. That is not the same spot. Nor is it the same pitch. Drop, 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 drop. Nice. I'm going, screw it. Oh, thank you for throwing to the freaking cutoff, man. Not the second baseman, you idiot. Quinton. 
Come on, Quentin. Call Quentin. Breaking shoulders, call Quentin. Or collarbone, whatever the hell he broke on. Cranky. The bone breaker, Carlos Quentin. The linebacker, Carlos Quentin. Look out, guys! Oh! Carlos, what the hell? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There they go. There they go. Damn. You just couldn't extend the lead, could you, Tory Hunter? Hey, hold on. Don't you dare go three. Don't you dare go three. It's what I thought, punk. Huh? Huh? Nope. It was too late on it. That slight hesitation led to him being safe. However, we are owning. I'm not owning, though, which is upsetting for me. I'll change that. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. I was guessing double. I'll take Homer. What up, coach? Oh, slap hands. Hey, angry boy. Slap hands, slap, slap, slap hands, and then punch you. Well, there's one thing for certain. He's picking the right time to start getting hot right here with the postseason right yeah, around man. the corner. They're going to be relying on his offense quite a bit. And hopefully, Finna MVP. That was a bit of an aggressive throw to the cutoff man there, Carlos Quentin. I don't think that was necessary.
Shoot him! Safe. Where's the arm power? I've got like 94 arm power. Where, where is it? What's with these bounces? I set that up because I want to hit home on the fly from like 800 feet away. I want to be outside of the stadium and be able to throw home with no bounces. Are you swing at that crap? You expect me to swing at that crap? Do you know who I am? I'm Reese Witherspoon yelling at a cop. Do you know who I am? I, I think these guys are at the point of the series where they've seen enough of this guy swinging the bat. Go Ramos! Are you related to Lisa? If you are, can I get a number? Please. I'm about to be the MVP. That's how I'm gonna, like, that's how I'm gonna, you know, text her at first. I'm gonna be like, hey, this is Boomer. I'm about to be the MVP of the MLB. Won't you come be with me? Women love poetry. And then BAM! Lisa Ramos, I got her. That was awful. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell I'm even talking about anymore. Yeah, because I needed to be a part of that. I turned a double play last game. That's nothing new. So what? You're actually a shortstop. I'm a center fielder and I can do that. That just proves that you're bums. Well, Robert Andino? What about me? What'd I do? I went two for four. That's pretty solid. But guys, that is where we end this episode. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment of whether you like Melanie Iglesias or Lisa Ramos more. And subscribe if you guys want to see more. Peace.